The Land of Giants with Butch Bradley. I had so much fun on this project. I got to interview Stefan Bonner, the American psycho, who happens to be far from a psycho. Incredible athlete, incredible fighter, full of class and genius. You gotta check this episode out, especially if you're an MMA fan. Butch Bradley in the Land of Giants. Where am I? I'm at the White Wolf, right? Silver Wolf. The Silver Wolf. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo it. Hey, this is this is Butch Bradley. I'm at the Silver Wolf in Las Vegas with legendary fighter Stefan Bonner, uh, and we're shooting another episode of In the Land of Giants. Really excited to be here. Uh, so you were just saying you started in wrestling, right? I mean, when I was a kid, we didn't have uh, the UFC, so I started Pee Wee Wrestling when I was like 10 years old and started doing Taekwondo when I was 12, and I did those through high school. April 9th, 2005, changed fighting, as the world knows it, UFC, you fought Forrest Griffin. Do you even know that date, or was it another fight when you stepped into that ring? No, I I knew like that whole season, I knew it was something special, I knew, I don't know, everyone's only full shit, but... I swear, like I knew deep, it was no surprise to me. And yeah. I knew the fight would be epic, and I was gonna make sure it was. That was my plan. And, and I don't know, it just, yeah, it was no surprise. Honestly, it was no surprise. It was surprise to me to hear that they were almost threw in the towel, and they were 62 million in the hole, and they were yeah. about to bowl. Wow. Because to me, it was like, oh, this show's gonna be the. That's what a we great thought. Show. I think everybody watching thought that, but that moment just changed it. Here's something interesting I always wonder. Like, you enter a ring, it's just you versus one person, you know, do you let the whole world go? Are you, are you a predator? Are you hunting that dude? Are you like, or is yeah, it- I'm just lost. We're just in a dance. It's not like really personal. It's more fun and playful than anything. But you know, it's, it's, you're just, you're just fighting with everything you got. And it's, I don't know, it's fun. It's, it just, it, it, it just, there's nothing. It, you just get lost in a totally different universe. Like Randy says, I love his great line, it's the most fun you could have without going to jail. Because it's like, you can't do that anywhere without going to jail. You, right, you can't. And you, you know, I, it's weird how society separates it. it. it like the, the beauty of it is the freedom. Like, that's what I always loved. Like, growing up, doing the Taekwondo, oh, you were limited by rules. Doing the wrestling, you were limited by rules. Doing the Jiu-Jitsu, you were limited by rules. Doing the boxing, you were limited by rules. So I did all four of those, competed in them, and it was just, oh, the ultimate fantasy when I saw the, oh my God, you can just do whatever you want. <laughs> right. and, and I just instantly <laughs> fell in love. <laughs> right, right, and you, right, once, when the, do you remember the first fight you had when the, in the octagon, do you like, do you hear the gate close behind you? Do you feel like a sense of, that for you, obviously, you just said the gate locks, you're free. Yeah, before the um, Ultimate Fighter, I, I only had fought in a ring. I think I had like seven fights before then, and wow. they were on the rings. And I had like a, a good amateur boxing career too, won the Chicago Golden Gloves a few times. But yeah, that, that first time in the cage on the show with Bobby Southworth and John McCarthy's The Ref, but it was so silent, it was eerie. Like, you yeah. know, and now you could hear a pin drop, no one was there. And uh, it's wow. like, wow, I'm finally fighting the UFC, but it's like, yeah, oh, right. It was almost like secret, right? Because yeah. it was for the show. Right. What? Now, that's a good point, the crowd. I mean, you know, uh, you hear them. Do you hear them when you're walking in? I mean, I think everyone's dreamt in their life that bounce, the walk, the music. I mean, we watch Rocky, you know, like, are you, that's got to be so, I have goosebumps. That must be the sickest, most incredible feeling ever marching in or is it nothing like we imagined it is it's like sensory overload it's <laughs> right. like just so right. and you're like ah like all that energy and I, yeah and you kind of and you get in the cage and there's all these cameras and people in commission and it's crowded and and it's a little overwhelming finally it clears out and it's like ah finally i'm just locked in the cage with him and you kind of get this peace <laughs> this wave of peace coming over you i love the one that 
you, you know that's beautiful that you think that. But the idea of me being locked in, as much as I love fighting, like I, I did kickboxing as a kid. I loved it, and you know we had well, like a, you know I love it. But if he locked in with you in a cage, I would not have a sense of peace. I would feel better if like I fell off a boat and there was blood and chum and sharks. I was like maybe I have a chance. The worst part about about it is all the anticipation when that's finally over, right? And, and everyone leaves and they put the pin in the door. You're like it's all the. All the waiting for it. That's the right. worst part. It's yeah, finally yeah. over, and that's what gives you the peace. That's beautiful. Right, right. So that's that brings us here. Your club's gorgeous. It's really cool. And uh, so, is this that same world, or do you seek that octagon no. locking? You know, that's pretty serious and rough. You know, I, I love the just the visual of you going in there and you, you want to get your feet wet, and you put a little water down to your coach, and there's just. <laughs> pools of blood all over and you're like, you know, right. and it hits you like, God, what am I doing? You know, where did I, yeah, where yeah, did yeah. I go wrong? And it's just, it's so funny how you see it in this, it, you know, it's beautiful. You love it. What about now? What's, where, where are your plans now? Because, you know, you're in it, you love it, you're training, you're going to make some future killers, but no, are you it's fighting? more, it's more just have fun. It, it did suck. Like, after you've been doing the, the fighting thing, it's so much fun like those first 10 years, but then when you hit your peak and you're just trying to maintain and your reactions are going and it's just more and more painful getting out of bed and you're just like those last couple years, it isn't as much fun. And you forget like why you did it in the first place and why you loved it. And that's what I'm bringing here. I want people to just come here and have fun more than anything. Yeah, 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 Not yeah. so serious. And oh, come on, push it, suck it up, get the bucket out. He's throwing up like now. <laughs> oh, you're tired, really rest. You know, you're getting a little, little right. by little, step by step. Right, you know? right, right. Well, that, you know, and it's funny, the guys that, like me, I had a crazy little sensei Malcolm Perkins, and it was fun. It was cool. It was crazy, but it was fun. Not crazy like you're crazy, but you know, and we loved it, and it gave us a place. So you, that camaraderie, that sense of going to the club, more than anything. Yeah, this training. is a cool place. Look at this screen. I put in projection screen. We're gonna show the fights here, badass fights. Also, we're a block away from Raiders Stadium. Oh and right, right. Game day, Beautiful. Sunday fun day, and uh, yeah, come get your sweat on, train, be healthy, get in shape, and like get in shape without boring yourself to death. And like CrossFit, man, like I, I've done it. Like it's. <laughs> It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not they lift it, it's like yeah. ridiculous. It's way more fun. You're just sitting there going at it, all of a sudden ding ding it's over and you're like, Wow, that was awesome. And hey, you're in bed job. twice as the yeah. shape is incredible. And you'll sleep twice as good, I guarantee you. Might not wake up at that second. <laughs> That's what the waiver's for. Well, <laughs> well yeah, it sleeps when you heal yourself. Yeah, yeah. So uh yo, for, just for the sake of this, so we met at Adam Hunter yep, who was doing yep. You know, a gig in town who I love. And then, uh, you know, I walk in the green room and you're there. And I'm like, oh, my God. So you did and more shocking and wonderful to meet you. Uh, you were like, yeah, I just did a set. I was like, you did comedy? Like, compare that. Was there any fear or is it easy? Going up and doing stand up compared to this. It's, 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 you know, people not laughing is not that big of a deal, you know. It's, <laughs> That's one, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. all right. A lot easier. No one's going to get up. I'm not going to be that. I'm, I'm not, I don't have my expectations set too high. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I went out there, I took some jokes. No one laughed. No, well, and then a couple people laughed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll, yeah. It'll come along. And then I talk to everyone like you who says, oh, yeah, give, give it 10 years. You'll yeah, get yeah, the, yeah, you know, yeah. so it's like, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm in no hurry. Yeah, you're in a new dojo, right? Yeah. So Friday, Friday you're gigging, and, and you yes. just told me you have a spot. Is it, it? It's in your mind, right? Oh yeah. You know like, we I'm love. Like, what am I gonna like? Friday, it's three days away. What's funny? Like, what did I, what did I do? I just watched the the Leaving Neverland. And what am I gonna crack jokes about how to file stuff? Right. And like, but I you I could, gotta, you could. You I, got, I got a pretty you gotta good, be good one. for those. Like, like, yeah. All right, this is my one about that. It's like, okay, all you got to do is look at Michael Jackson, but I'm, I'm just forget. He ever wrote a song, right? You never, you never see him. Don't know where he erased that from his memory. And then all of a sudden, he comes up to you. Oh, that's a cute little boy. Can I hold him? Can he spend the night in my? Like you'd be like, fuck no, you freak. You right, know? right. No babysitting. Mm -hmm. No <laughs> off bed. Yeah, that is. It's a hard subject to show. You about. know what's it crazy? Really you know what's funny? But you're like, bringing up like who would, so. Who in their right mind would leave their kid in this? 
Yeah, well, yeah, it's the same thing in my family. My family's like, you know, Father Malcolm is such an incredible priest. I'm like, please stop talking. Are you going to let him babysit the kids? No. All right, there's a fine line. Exactly. Yeah, but, get a picture with them, smile, and get... Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not going to... I love that. So, uh... But you don't feel anything about Friday. Like, you're going to get up and do... You, I want to see you pull off your I, Michael Jackson That's the show. thing is, I keep my word. Oh, my God. I got to go up on stage and do this. There's a very good chance I bomb, but fuck it. Yeah, like, it doesn't matter. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And here's going to be me. It's going to be Friday. going to be driving to the gig, like, fucking trying to type shit. And I write it on my hand again, you yeah. know, so... I want to see Michael that's Jackson. Me. I need that. I need a fire under my ass. You do? do yeah, so we always would bust each other's chops, like, in comedy. We'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, stuff at great set the other night that michael jackson joke dang <laughs> did you get any of that where guys like holy god you're you're fighting so and so tuesday good luck with that battle no they didn't they don't joke like that in your world do they in the fight world you don't bust each other's chops it's so I mean, funny i like this quiet i feel like i won't even yeah it's Let's so, see. Yeah, is it a jinx? no. Is there it were a guys jinx? like Tank. I heard was like that. Like you know, if you trained with them, like Paul Herrera got Kerry Goodrich in that crucifix, and he's like, ah, 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 and he's like <laughs> knocked out. No, I'm a little more sympathetic to my yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any favorites you're watching right now that you enjoy watching fight? Do you like? Is there someone in your mind? Who do I love watching fight? Like, is there anyone coming up? You're like that person is has got it. Um. Yeah, Whitaker, I like Whitaker is pretty exciting. He's always in, in good brawls. Wonder Boy, I love anyone who can. Wonder Boy is crazy. People right? out with spinning back kicks, and just for a guy who's like a <laughs> skinny, not too built white guy to hang it with, but you know, like yeah, hanging yeah, there yeah, with yeah. those freaks of nature that look like Woodley, you gotta hand it to him, you know. Right. Yeah. So last one, and I'll let you do what you, you know. One of the things you do best is which is sharing your gift. It's American Psycho. So you're like one of the nicest guys I know, which keeps happening. Every time I meet one of you guys, I'm like, this guy's like the nicest guy in the world. Where did the American Psycho logo come from? Like, what is that? That, that, that name? That, yeah, the it was, I, was on the, it. I was on the Ultimate Fighter TV show the first week. You saw Lieben getting drunk and starting to call Strange Brew ah, and giving people nicknames. And it was actually, I was Ivy League. And then, because, you know, he thought, like, I didn't look tough. And he thought I was a joke, you know. Right, right, and then right. he trained with me and then heard some crazy stories and... And someone said American Psycho, and he, he would start dying laughing, and I didn't even like it. And then, but but then he would just pee himself. He laughed so hard, and then everyone else thought it was so funny, just because Levin thought it was so funny. And then, before the fight with Forrest, Bruce Buffer comes up to me and goes, "How do you want to be introduced? What kind of nickname?" I go, "No, just Stephen Bonner." And he actually said Stephen Bonner, <laughs> whatever. And uh, Mask from Tampa, out, Charles. I later found out, went up to him, Buffer, you gotta do American. Psycho, and then he did. And that tribute to Charles Lewis, aka Mask and Tap Out, that's where American Psycho came from. Thanks, buddy. God bless you. Awesome. Pleasure talking to you. I'm going to let you do your thing. Thank you so much. Stefan Bonner, American Psycho, has a comedy gig this week. Thanks, brother. In the land of giants.